Hello and welcome, this is Faisal, and in this video we'll explain how to convert an image to Pantone or spot colour using Adobe Photoshop. In fact, before making this video or before showing the method, I searched a lot on YouTube, Google and the internet in general, and I couldn't find anyone explaining the method correctly where you convert an image from CMYK or RGB to any Pantone colour and get it ready for printing, whether on a magazine, book, newspaper or any form of printing. All right, now let's see together how to convert the image to a specific Pantone color and use a specific Pantone number you have or wanted to use in your design. Okay, first we go to image menu of the image, then we head to the mode submenu. Here, depending on what you have, it could be RGB or CMYK or lab color, but we will change it to grayscale. All right, we've converted it to grayscale. The primitive way is to just have a single color image and send it for printing and tell the printer you want to print this specific color. Of course, the client won't see the image before printing and publishing, so in order for us to see the same Pantone color on the computer in your design or even within the app, we will use a more advanced method. After converting it to grayscale, go to image mode again and this time we will choose duotone. Okay, now the Duotone Options window has opened, and you only have one option here, which is to choose the Pantone color you want. You can simply choose this color or this color, or if you have a specific color in mind, you can search here for it, depending on which color you find suitable for printing or your desired color. Alright, let's start by choosing this color. Okay, we have chosen this color, which is numbered 270820C, which is a solid coated color from printing colors. Then we click OK. Now, on the channels panel, you can see the Pantone color name you've chosen. How can I be sure that my method is 100% correct? Simply put, take the image or design to Adobe Illustrator and check it using the separation preview. I've already explained the separation preview in a lesson on my channel. Let's see how the color I chose will look on printing. Save the image as test1, then head to Illustrator and use the place command to import the image. Using the place command here and locating test1. Ideally, have a link between Photoshop and Illustrator, so any changes made in Photoshop are directly reflected in Illustrator. Once placed in Illustrator, we can see the image is now in Pantone color and we can confirm the Pantone color we used. To further verify this, head to the Separation Preview window, Windowed Separation Preview. Here you can see the image in the chosen Pantone color and no other colors are present. And with that, inshallah, when you send your image for printing or include it in a book, magazine, brochure or flyer, it will maintain the same Pantone color you initially use for your text, design or any aspect of your design. That was our explanation for today on how to convert an image from four colors to a single Pantone or spot color. If anyone has any questions, please write it in the comments below and inshallah I will reply.